Um, now to get the Wi-Fi working, if I do IPA, um, you'll see that there's only the loopback device and the um, the wired network. And I should check that I've got access outside of the machine. And yes, I have. That's no problem. So that's working. That's good. Um, what we need to do is to activate the wireless is to copy some firmware. Now as I said the Gen 2 firmware hasn't got a complete set of firmware for the Raspberry Pi 400 so the best thing to do is to um, copy stuff from um, the Raspberry Pi operating system. So I've just plugged back the SD card into its slot and um, what I can do now is if I mount the uh, MMC block two, the root partition of what's on the uh, SD card, I'll put that into the mount directory. And then if I go to the lib directory, uh, let's see if there's a firmware directory all there. No, there isn't. So I'll need to make do MK the firmware and we'll change into that and then we need to copy I'll use minus V so we can see what's happening from mount lib firmware we need two files which are regulatory files which are needed to um, actually make sure that the correct frequencies are used in your, uh, your zone uh, we need to copy those two files to lib firmware so that's those two done and then we need to make another directory called brcm and we need to copy from again from mnt lib firmware brcm and then anything that's got the digits 43456 in it and these are particular to the raspberry pi 400 and we need to copy them into the brcm directory we just created so you can see there's three files that have been copied there. So obviously this won't work because um, we've ju only just copied these. So what I'm going to do is reboot. I'll unplug the SD card as well when it's rebooting. I should have done unmounted that first of all. Right, it's unmounted it so I can eject it. Looks like I might have been a little bit slow ejecting that. It was probably trying to boot off of it. Right, so let's power cycle this and try again. Okay, I'm going to log in as kernel text this time to make sure that account is working as well. It is, and I'm going to try and become the root from that to ensure that the wheel group bit is working. And yes, that is as well. So now if I do IPA, right, it's not working. So why is that? Right now, it could well be there's some other software that needs to be installed. I thought that this should work like this. Have a mod. That's interesting. That should show something. Um, what if 
that was anything to do with the fact that I messed around with the modules. Um, let's mount the boat. Going to the user source and Linux, and I'm just going to copy the um, kernel again, so that'll be ARM 64 boot image and I'll copy it back to boot kernel 8 dot image and I'll redo make modules install make sure that's actually correct Okay, so I'm now going to do a reboot and hopefully um, the network will, this might have been something to do when I was trying to get find out when the uh, kernel was working. Right, so let's look in this route. That's better. Yeah, it must have been um, when I was messing with the kernel. So yeah, those drivers have now um, installed and you can see we've got the WN. So that shows that the hardware has been activated and it's working. In fact, if I do LS mod, yeah, that's better. All the modules are, are working now. <coughs> 